third generation beta blockers they have additional vasodilator property right they have additional vasodilator property now let me discuss how do they have this additional vasodilator property now the additional vasodilator property by the third generation beta blockers is via multiple mechanisms right now let me tell you what are the group of drugs under this the third generation beta blockers so first we have the alpha blockers right alpha blockers if you take alpha blockers the examples what we have is labetalol right carbidilol and apart from labetalol and carbidilol we also have medroxolol which is having alpha blocking property right medroxolol and then we have bucindolol right then we have bucindolol so these are the third generation beta blockers with alpha blocking activity next we have third generation beta blockers which will cause the release of nitric oxide which will cause the release of nitric oxide the drugs here are nebivalol right the drugs in this group are nebivalol next next the other group what we have is the potassium channel openers right beta blockers with potassium channel openers now if you take these particular drugs they include tilisolol right the drug under this is tilisolol okay next now apart from that we have the third generation beta blockers with calcium channel blocking property right calcium channel blocking property now if you take these drugs that is the third generation beta blockers with calcium channel blocking property the examples what we have is carvedilol right carvedilol then apart from this particular carvedilol then we have bitoxolol next to the bitoxolol we have bevanitolol right bevanitolol so these are the third generation beta blockers with calcium channel blocking property then we are we are having another group that is the third generation beta blockers with beta 2 agonistic activity right with beta 2 agonistic activity now beta 2 receptors once they are stimulated there will be vasodilatation the examples what we have is seliprolol then we have cartiolol right then we have cartiolol and lastly we have bopindolol right then we have bopindolol so these are the third generation beta blockers with vasodilatory activity so once the alpha receptors are blocked there will be vasodilatation once there is release of the nitric oxide that will increase the cyclic amp and thereby there will be vasodilatation that is your nebivalol 
then we have potassium channel openers which is chilosolol then we have calcium channel blocking property that is carbidilol bitoxolol and as well as bivantolol then we have beta 2 agonist that is seleprolol carteolol and as well as bopindolol so these are all your the third generation beta blockers which have the additional vasodilator property